It's a reluctant hand that prepares the hunting weapon for a period of inactivity. The devoted sportsman really lives from season to season, and the time between is dry. Of course, there's the memory of happy hunting, the recollections of success and failure. There's time to swap yarns with others of the fraternity, and there's time for argument too. Sportsmen do have differences of opinion on the right lure, the right technique, the best ways to outwit the animals in their native haunts. The off-season is also a chance to read, enjoy the adventures of sport through word and picture. But many a sportsman is not content with conversation and reading. In the off-season, many a sportsman keeps his equipment active across... Of course, we had lots of help from the small fry, but soon we were ready to shove off when the guns in their cases had been placed securely and flat on the floor. This bad guy won't ever get to go with the good guys if he keeps pointing his gun at us. I said goodbye to Betsy while Mother dashed back into the house to retrieve the family recorder of great events. Bruce and I hoped that we would get to shoot more than the camera. the house and get away with it. A scene like that does things to your stomach, doesn't it? Because it can and does happen. I didn't know the gun was loaded. How often have you heard that expression? How many heartbreaking tragedies do you suppose it has caused? But let me show you something else. 